welcome, Tyler. Tyler is going to be one of 32 authors at the Holiday Book Festival coming up on Saturday, November 30th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Kensington Mill Falls Event Center in Milford, Michigan. Welcome, Tyler. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's good to be here. So, Tyler, you are going to be bringing three book titles to the event? Yes, I, I actually have about seven published. Oh, okay. And so I'm bringing three of them. And, of course, you'll be able to order all of them. So if I don't have it with me, then you're all set. So uh, the first book I'll be bringing is, um, well, you can't really see the cover very good, but it's called Alliance. And this okay. is a series, a, a trilogy that's uh, young adult based. And I've always had a hard time figuring out what these <laughs> books are similar to. But... Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say a little bit of Narnia and a little bit of Star Wars. So interesting combination. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, so Narnia kind of inspired me to first try writing. So there's a similar, you know, you're going through a door into another world. But I didn't know anything about writing that kind of action at the time. And uh, Star Wars was an easy action. So I kind of emulated how the, the flow of the action is in in the in the story so it's a pretty fast-paced um moving story and what are the other two titles that you're bringing uh yeah sorry i'm gonna <laughs> uh, the other two <laughs> stories are uh this is the fourth book of my uh drake thomas series which is a uh, lots of people have uh, compared it to Lord of the Rings. So it's that same oh. kind of genre of elves, dwarves, men, a little bit of magic thrown in. And uh, so I'll have that one. And uh, then I've got Crunch, mm -hmm. which um, is a superhero satire because oh. I had wanted to write a superhero book years ago. My wife and I had talked about it. But then I got so sick of all the Marvel movies because I just went like <laughs> it was 50 movies later. And so I came up with the idea for this one on a whim, just like, what if I took it and just flipped it on its side and showed you what a superhero would look like, you know, if they can't be a superhero. Oh. <laughs> and what, what I mean about this, it, it really kind of focuses more on he's telling you his life story as he's a parent mm -hmm. and going through raising super kids. And, you know, for reasons that are in the book that he can't let anybody know he's a superhero. So it's trying to hide these superpowers from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> because you see a lot of, you know, stuff where the superheroes are like teenagers, but you never see them when they're toddlers. And oh. there are misadventures that could happen from that. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, awesome. And that book cover is in our book cover contest. Yes, that's right. Awesome. So you are from, it says Buckley, Michigan in your bio? Yeah, Buckley, Michigan. It's uh, about a half hour south of Traverse City, if you know where that is. Okay, so it's still in the lower peninsula, but upper lower yep, peninsula. Yep, still in the lower peninsula. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The upper lower peninsula, because that's how Michiganders do directions. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around in here. <laughs> That's right. Yep. <laughs> awesome. So you have, um, I'm just reading your bio here. So you work alongside your dad and brother. What, yep, what are um, you doing in that job? Uh, so we have a family farm. It's been established since 1913. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, 2,000 hogs and uh, 1,100 acres of crops. So, oh, wow. You know, the three of us stay pretty busy and we're just about to start corn harvest tonight, maybe. So, usually that means we're going from 5 30 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. Awesome. So, it says you're powered by coffee and you write, you and your wife write novels um, of yes. all genres. Um, so did she 
have any writings in these particular books or are they in separate books? They're in separate books. She is co-writing the, the Crystal with me, which is kind of fun. So hopefully that'll come out next year. Uh, okay. Her books aren't a hundred percent ready yet, but uh, I never, mm -hmm. used, I never used to drink coffee um, until we, we got married and she got me into coffee, which is a good thing she did. Cause I write them at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> and you need a little extra, <laughs> extra juice to stay awake. <laughs> so I'm probably the only person on the face of the earth that at nine o'clock at night makes an espresso for myself, but Oof. it works. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't, it, it doesn't usually keep me up too long. Okay. Uh, unless I, unless I make it too strong. There's been a few nights where I've done that. But. <laughs> so do you have, um, any books in the near future coming out? Um, the, the crunch sequel, it's called boom. Hopefully that'll come out next year. And I'm hoping for Drake five, uh, to come out next year as well. Awesome. So what got you into writing these books? I was like writing. Um, I was a secret writer for a long time. Nobody knew until I graduated that I had written anything. Um, but then when I, when I started realizing that through fantasy, I could do a lot of allegory mm -hmm. that that became much more motivating to me because it was, it was fun trying to build in, yeah, I'm a Christian author. So build in those Christian principles into genres that don't generally get a lot of attention in, in the Christian realm. Um, oh, okay. A lot of times the, uh, the epic fantasy, you know, like Lord of the Rings, you know, it's debated, sometimes frowned upon in the Christian community because it deals with magic and sorcery and stuff like that. Ah, so okay. for me, it's been fun to try to find a, a way to incorporate. So do you write with an outline or do you just, uh, write, uh, panther, you know, with just start <laughs> writing and keep going. <laughs> well, I, uh, I used to do that method. Uh, I find now, uh, it's taking a little more planning ahead of time. Not to say that I don't throw the plans out the window once I start. Um, <laughs> but there, there, at least there is a, a guideline and I don't vary too much from the guideline. It's just what it takes between the beginning and the end. I don't plan that out religiously. So <laughs> I, I usually have the end scene in mind in the beginning, and I know a few places okay. I need to, to hit it. And other than that, I just, I go for it. <laughs> so sometimes it's a lot of re-editing, but. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. <laughs> awesome. So it mentions, you've mentioned that, you know, your book, Idols and Trinkets, was an award winner in the 2024 BookFest Awards. Yes, is it was. That... That was a... Go ahead. What type of book is that? Uh, that would be the uh, the Lord of the Rings style uh, okay. series. So your epic fantasy. Um, and I was kind of surprised that it won. I kind of forgot about it. You know, you fill out the applications <laughs> for these awards and then... Months later, you're like, oh, well, look at that. That's that's pretty cool. So, yeah, you got, uh, you got fourth place. So that's pretty good. Awesome. Right out Very good. And your crunch book was featured in the L.A. Times Festival of Books, which is awesome. Yep. Uh, I never even heard of it because I'm not very up on book festivals. I need to work on that. <laughs> so <laughs> so once I, but I was contacted and I put it in and uh, Surprisingly, it got scouted by uh, Barnes and Noble. So I'm oh, going nice. through that process of uh, trying to get it in there. So you are self-published then? Yes, I'm self-published. Okay. So I've got my own you know, DB, Civec books, obviously. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, this has been great. Uh, I look forward to meeting you in person in November at, in Milford. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.